Good morning, good morning, family of God. Welcome to the Wellness Morning Devo. It's Friday, so it's Friday. So we usually talk on Fridays about health and wellness. Amen. Just want to check my sound. Sorry about that. Because I know we were having some tech issues earlier. So we here we are, a Friday. And since I don't want to get banned from the social media platforms and stuff like that, I'm going to be real um, general, make general statements. I'm not saying that <laughs> I have the ultimate answer to any type of um, immunity control or health or anything like that. But I do have a great suggestion, something I've been using and my family has been using, and we are seemingly okay And when it comes to supporting our immune system, especially the times we're in now, right? Um, So welcome, welcome. If this is your first time on the Morning Devos, welcome. My name is Sam Lopez, a.k.a. Brother DJ Sam Rock. And um, I try to do these devotionals from 10 a.m. in that that hour, right? Eastern Standard Time, Mondays through Fridays. So I'm glad you're here and I welcome you. So the first question that's always on my mind is, um, for people to answer so that way they could get a, a great start, a head start in their lives is this question about the whole thing about did you give your life to Jesus? If you never thought about it or you never gave your life to the Lord Jesus Christ and you realize, you start to realize that more and more as you move on in life, that you never submitted your life to the Lord and Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, then this question could really change radically the things in your life radically change you and transform you and kind of like give you life back, true life, abundant life. Amen. So there's a QR code right there on the screen if you're listening um, on the podcast. And if you want to get the free resource as well, you could always comment, connect or contact me from whatever podcast platform you're on. There's so many, so I can't narrow it down. Or the easiest thing to do is go to live.soulwinnerswithaz.org. That's live.soulwinnerswithaz.org. Sign up and uh, you'll be on my email list. And then I can get you any any resource that you want uh, directly into your inbox totally for free. So God bless you. Welcome, welcome. So we're here. We're here. It's a new start, a new day, right? So um, what I'm going to do since um, this is a, a touchy issue. And like I said, I don't want people to start saying, oh, Sam said to do this and then I'll be okay. What I am saying is that um, there's a vaccines, there's vaccines that you heard about going on in the world, amen, and some people are being forced to take it, others um, have the opportunity to say no, others have choice, you know, there's been a big um, issue at the Supreme Court, right, um, knocking down some mandates and all this with the government. Listen, I'm not here to talk about none of that per se, but I'm here to talk about your health and your wellness and the root cause of any type of virus, any type of disease, any type of sickness, any type of life-threatening thing, the root of it is sin, point blank period. I mean, it seems like we get so distracted on so many other things that we forget about the root causes of things sometimes. So the, 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 the true vaccine that we got for sin is the blood of Jesus. Amen. I know that sounds cliche. I know that sounds like, ah, oh, there, there he goes talking about the Lord. Well, think about it. Everything was cool. If you read the scriptures, Genesis chapter one, everything was beautiful. Genesis chapter two, everything was beautiful. Genesis chapter three, there was a, uh, a point in Genesis chapter three that mankind, right? In a perfect environment decided to say, um, okay, God, I will take it from here. That type of thing. So it seems like in our culture, we're telling God, okay, um, we heard the gospel, you know, we go to church, we hear these messages, we do morning devos, but I'll take it from here. As if sin, sickness, disease, death, and all that stuff could be controlled by us. And listen, we if we had control over it, we would control it. Why wouldn't we as human beings, right? But we can't. So the ultimate vaccine and the ultimate immunity support system from any virus, any disease, is the blood of Jesus. Amen? So we're going to get a little, touch a little bit into that in a minute. Amen? And then I'm going to share verbally. I can't really put it on, you know, type it out. But I can verbally share a website um, that you can go to and you can get this information yourself. Amen? Because saying it, Without you seeing it, it won't really match up, right? So let's take a minute to pray. If you have any questions, 
comments, concerns, or any prayer requests. I know it's been a rough year, beginning of the year for a lot of people who lost loved ones um, um, for a lot of different reasons. And, you know, my my condolences are with the family members um, that were lost in your family. Um, and it's just a tough time. Like, I, I can't even, like, smile too much about those things that happen because it's hard. I could just imagine how hard it is. But we, together, we could get up, right, and we could... Um, we could have compassion towards one another, love for one another, so that way this world will know that love is the most powerful thing that we could ever express to one another in this time of our lives, in any time of our lives, whether it's this generation, the generation before me, and the generation after me. Amen. Love will always win. Love will always win. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or any prayer requests, let me know how you feel. A lot of people have gone through this new wave of um, Omicron, COVID, and all that, and they've come out of it. A lot of people are still in it. A lot of people have not made it out of this situation. Amen. So I'm hoping and praying uh, that God will have mercy, continuous mercy. Even his, even his common grace will cover us during this time of pandemic, during this time of virus, during this time of whatever um, the world system is throwing at us in the kingdom of God. We know we're here for a purpose and a plan and a reason. And the total ultimate vaccination that we could get is the blood of Jesus in our lives, over our lives, covering our lives, cleansing us from all unrighteousness. And I believe that's the root cause of any disease, any sickness. It's sin. Sin is the root cause of it all. Amen. So let's not let's stay focused. Let's not get detached from the word, let's not get detached from the body of Christ. Let's not get detached and moved into all these different areas without realizing that we have a savior. You know, people don't believe in God until they realize that's all they have. People don't need a savior until all they knew all they know is that they need to be rescued. People don't need a miracle until they need one. They don't believe in miracles until they need one themselves. Amen. That's just the way we are as human beings. God bless you. God bless you. Good morning. God bless you. Amen. Um, appreciate your devotion. Okay. Amen. Praise the Lord. Um, and I'm grateful that I'm able to do these um, Mondays through Fridays. So I'm grateful for you as well. God bless you. So let's do this. Let's pray. We'll take 60 seconds uh, to share this out with as many people as we can. If um, there's been some issues, again, that I'm realizing on um, my YouTube embeds, it's a technical word for how I share my videos. It's not working. It's saying... Um, live content not unavailable and then when you go into the forums and you put that in a lot of i'm not the only one a lot of people are experiencing the same thing so here we are um, facing a, a different challenge um, i've been challenged at my my home church transformation church with our um, live streaming so um i guess it's going around right a virus is going around also these technical issues are going around too so we need Oh, surely we need to pray that God will set things up for us in order so that way we could get this message out to as many people as we can. If you know somebody right now that does not have social media, no problem. Send them straight to live.soulwinnerswithaz.org. And if you have not signed up yourself, what are you waiting for? It takes less than 30 seconds. Well, I should say less than 45 seconds. Less than a minute for sure. We're going to just put your picture, your name, and your best email address. And that's it. And it's a one and done deal. And then you will be part of the community over at live. That's so one is with Z.org, distraction free website, community with a live chat. You have your own Bible, right? You have notes, a place you could take notes and a place where you can see my notes. It's an amazing community, amazing website. So thank you for, for joining. Amen. So, Father, I thank you for today. I thank you that although everything that happens to us is monitored and filtered by you, Lord Jesus, nothing can happen to a child of God without you first allowing it or knowing about it. And we thank you for your knowledge. We thank you for your prophetic word that we are already in. We thank you, Lord God, that we can speak to you through prayer, through fasting. Amen. We know, Lord God, that you are our our king, our Lord, our shepherd. And we know, Lord God, that you will never leave us nor forsake us, even in times of famine, even in times of virus, even in times of pandemics, that you will never leave us nor forsake us, but you will be with us even to the end of the age, according to your word. 
So I speak life over every single person that's connected right now, every single listener, every single viewer that's connected or will connect later on on the replay or on a podcast. I speak life over their lives for them and their whole bloodline, their whole family, from the youngest family member to the very oldest and everyone in between, that they will feel a sense of hope, that they will feel health to their body, strength to their bones, that they will be guided, guarded, and protected by Holy Spirit God, knowing, Lord God, that you are able to perform signs, miracles, and wonders even to this very day, and that you will shelter us and cover us as we trust in you, the ultimate King of kings and Lord of lords, the old great physician, the great I am, the one who covers us when we're going in and when we're coming out. In Jesus' name, I pray this by faith over every single person, including me and my family as well. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Let's take 60 seconds. When we come back, uh, I'm going to show you a couple of things. Not show you, but I'm going to read a couple of things to you because I can't get too detailed into this. Uh, It's real um, delicate information that I'm trying to get out to you. Um, I'm trying to use wisdom without getting kicked off of um, social media or platforms because it's a delicate situation when it comes to uh, immunity right now where we need that in our lives, immunity. But first and foremost, we need to go to the Lord for all things that lead to life. I'll be right back. Amen, amen, we're back, we're back. <laughs> Listen, let me get to this um, site that I was talking about. And looks like there's already an issue with it. I'm telling you, this information is so important that it might have got already kicked off the, the site already. Um, that's how deep it is, but God is good, amen, and he always allows us to experience what he wants us to know and wants us to see in his word, in his word, amen, so uh, I'm not concerned with how people try to stop the move of God, I'm not concerned with that because I know no one, nothing, can stop the move of God in this life, amen, but things do happen know that i know that so i'm not oblivious of that and it looks like it's trying to happen now amen as we get let's see something here let me go to plan b so let me just show you real quick or tell you real quick that when it comes to our immune system right we have we'll create first of all we're fearfully and wonderfully we are made fearfully and wonderfully right god made us that way So we have already in-house things that help us stay healthy, that help us fight viruses, that help us stay healthy, that help us recover, amen, from sickness, disease. Now, there's always the big ones, cancer. There's always the big ones like that. Um, Then science, right, will try to go in and try to help the situation out. But ultimately... The one who governs over science, the one who governs over the medical field, the one who governs over our bodies physically, emotionally, and spiritually is the Lord God Almighty. He's the ultimate one that covers us, that covers us, and he's the one that really is the ultimate support system for our immunity system. Amen. He created us. He knows exactly what needs to happen in our lives. Amen. I'm going to try on my desktop to see if this 
site did not get blocked already because I just put it up yesterday and it seems like it disappeared already. Uh, that's because um, it's touchy. So let me continue here to try to find it. But let me give you scripture because if we ain't get if we ain't getting into no scripture, then we ain't really talking, right? We're not talking if we ain't getting into scripture, at least on the morning devo here. So let's do this. Let's get into the first scripture so that way, that way I won't get in trouble or be accused of not. Um, Sam said a whole morning devo, a wellness devo, and he didn't even speak one scripture. So he must have been off um, his his situation here. Amen. I have my days. Amen. But I, I try to make sure that I incorporate the word because if it's not the word, then what, what am I doing here? Right? What am I doing here if it's not the word? So let's get into it. And it's something we need to confront anyway. And, and confronting this will help us. Amen. I'm going, to, I'm going to share a story in the Bible. 2 Samuel chapter 11. We'll start from verse number 1. And let's see if that's the right one. You know, we're 65 days away from spring. So getting into a health habit right now will really help, like, jumpstart your health right now. 65 days on before spring. That's two months and five days. It's that fast. That's how time is going so fast. So when you implement these things, you start now, amen, by the time spring comes around, you'll be a different person in your health, in your mind, in your health habits. So you'll be a different person. That's all I'm saying. So let me see if I could get this here. Um, and if it's blocked, it's blocked. So I will have to redo um, the link because I'm, I'm that stubborn. Okay, that's why. I, I did it. I spelled it wrong. Okay. See? The imperfections of Brother Sam um, proves that God could do um, great works through anybody. If he could do works through me, amen, um, for the kingdom of God, he could do works for you as well. Second Samuel verse um, chapter 11, verse 1. Then it happened in the spring, at the time when the kings go out to battle, that David sent Joab and his servants with him, and all the fighting men of Israel, and they destroyed the Ammonites and besieged Rabbah. But David remained in Jerusalem. One evening, David got up from his couch and was walking on the flat roof of the king's palace. And from there, he saw a woman bathing, and she was very beautiful in appearance. David sent word and inquired about the woman. Someone said, Is this not Bathsheba, the daughter of Elam, the wife of Uriah the Hittite? David sent messengers and took her. When she came to him, he lay with her, and when she was purified from her uncleanness, she returned to her house. The woman conceived, and she went and she sent word and told David, I am pregnant. Why do I start there from anything else about um, immune support system? I start there in the story with King David because while everybody was doing their thing and everybody was in their position, everybody was doing their thing. And during that time, the king was supposed to be out there as well. And David was a great warrior by that time. He was a great person for battle, but he stood behind. Now, the point I'm having with before I get into this immunity is that we many times are not in our position and we stay behind and we get into trouble because we're not where we're supposed to be at the time we're supposed to be at. We're not. So then what happens? We start looking, right? We start using our natural senses and forget about, you know, our supernatural side. We start using our natural senses. We stay behind. Um, we start uh, thinking things, seeing things that we should not be thinking about or should be not seeing. And then when it gets, you feel like you're in such a position of obtaining what you really want, you start asking for those things. And when those things start appearing or those, those people or those things start presenting themselves, you go for it. And then guess what? Bam, something's going to happen. Either you're going to find somebody pregnant or you're going to find somebody in sin. Or you're going to find somebody addicted to something. You're going to find somebody backsliding all because they were not in their position and they were not in the place where they needed to be at the time they needed to be at that place. 
and they forgot about their supernatural side and they caved in to sin. So the root cause of any virus, any sickness, any disease is sin. That's why I showed you that quick story right there in the scripture so that way you won't accuse me of not using the Bible. Amen. Because that's where it's at. I realized that all, you know, growing up and I'm still getting, I'm still growing up. I want to be like a lot of people that I, I follow, but I'm still growing up in Christ. And I noticed that if I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing in a position where I'm supposed to be at the time I'm supposed to be there, I'll start looking, hearing, noticing things that I shouldn't be noticing or even paying attention to. And then if I'm not careful, I'll start speaking those things out, calling for those things in. And then when those things appear, or when that person appears, then it could be curtains. Right now, think about that. Now, let's go to a um, little bit, you know, practical side of our immune support system. We are we have an immunity system already that God gave us. Amen. So when there's a virus, where there's a disease, where there's a sickness, where there's the flu or cold or whatever, you start noticing your body will react and respond in the way telling us, hey, there's something wrong. And your body would already tell you. That's why. When we get sick, we get symptoms, symptoms, and then you get symptoms. Either you could go to the pharmacy and get over-the-counter medication. If that doesn't work, it even tells you on the bottles of the meds, it says if that doesn't work after a certain amount of days, go to the doctor. Go see your physician. Go to the doctor. Go to the emergency room. And then uh, they're going to do the same thing. They're going to realize the symptoms. They're going to find the symptoms, and they're going to kind of narrow it down with the symptoms to what we have. And then they're going to, you know, ask for a prescription, they're going to prescribe something for you to help support your immunity system and help get whatever virus or whatever it is. And that's on a, a, a basic level, general level. I don't want to get banned, kicked out. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a physician, but I am a wellness coach. I'm a, I am a nutritional coach, amen, um, for Herbalife USA. So I, could, I know a couple of things. And what I do know, I believe can help. What I do know, I believe can help. Well, I'm going to name four things. Just name it. And before that, if you have a pen or paper, or if you could use your, your phone right now. I can't. I don't want to risk getting knocked out of here. So I'm going to give you a website. The same website we're looking at right now. I'm going to give it to you. Right? Ready? Listen to this website. DJ Sam Rock. S-A-M-R-O-C-K. DJ Sam Rock. S-A-M-R-O-C-K. Dot com. You put that slash in. What that? See if I could do that. Yeah, slash <laughs> uh, immune. I M M, like Mary, Mary, U N I. No, U N E, excuse me. Let's do it again. DJ Samrock.com forward slash immune. I M M U N E. Immune. What I was trying to do earlier was DJ Samrock.com forward slash immunity. It wasn't coming up. Immune. And it will take you to what I'm looking at now. And you actually see my picture there because I endorse this. And it's me, amen, all over again. Technology is great, right? It's me all over again. And this is what we actually have. Um, I was going to go and bring the items out, but again, I don't want to risk um, violating. And I'm always on thin ice on these social media platforms, so I don't want to push the limit too much, amen. I believe this information is very important, and I'm trying to get it out to as many people who will listen, amen. And that trust the process and this whole thing that we call life. So we have essentials. We have certain things that our body needs. Our body needs these things, right? So it's a it's a wellness routine. First of all, our immune health. Immunity essentials is called. It has unique <coughs> ingredients. It has this thing called epicor in there. You remember that back in the day, um, it was a big wave about epinacea. Remember those things? It was like a, it was herbs were like booming back in the '90s, early 2000s, in the mid 2000s, and then it went away because everybody else was talking about other things. But those things are still here. We have we need vitamin D, we need vitamin C, we need vitamins uh, to help support our immune system. So what they invented was this thing called Epicor. Um, it's uh, non-GM. It's not modified ingredients. It's natural ingredients, and there's no artificial. Sweeteners, no artificial flavors. It's all natural. So therefore, I've never known anybody who would take uh, this support system and to the taste. Like I've never, I never saw someone take medication or take uh, probiotics or antibiotics and taste it 
So I would, if it's all natural, it probably won't taste well. I don't know anybody who wants to taste it, um, but you use it the way they need you to use it. DJSamrock.com forward slash immune so you could see what I'm talking about. Amen. And it shows you um, the product and it shows you what it could do for your life. Now, all four of the products that you see on that page, you can get them all for less than 100, what is it, 125 bucks. And like I said, we're 65 days away from spring. You start this regimen in your life. Amen. You, you know, you implement it in your life. And I was going to say, I, guarantee, I can't guarantee anything. Everyone's different. There's not one for all kind of uh, immune support systems out there. And if somebody's telling you, oh, you just do this and it works for everybody. They're lying because not everything works for everybody. Amen. Um, but I could recommend this because I actually use this. So it's called Immunity Essentials. Um, check it out for yourself. Like I said, I can't get too much involved in um, endorsing anything like that just because this is not a commercial. This is not an infomercial. Amen. And I don't want to get banned and kicked off. But that's the website, djsandrock.com forward slash immune. Immune. Amen. So we have a couple of more minutes here left. Let me see if I can go back here. Go to the next couple of ones um, so that way you can see. And these things that we've, we've been using, a lot of people have been using. I shouldn't say we've all been using. A lot of people have been using. But it's like it's, it was mentioned years ago and then people forget about it because they go to the new things, the new wave, whatever that is. And they forget about the key benefits of what we were already using. Something that could be right now in your cupboard you could be using. There's another one called uh, Shizanda Plus. Shizandra Plus. Basically, it's vitamin A, right? Beta carotene C, vitamin E. Those are antioxidants that provide uh, support against free radicals. Those are for people who are athletes who work out, exercise. Well, after you work on exercise, you need something to help you uh, fight against these free radicals in your body. I can't get too technical right now. It takes too much time. Look at the website for yourself. It has a deeper explanation of what exactly was what I'm saying. Amen. And by the way, um, I cover this all in prayer. And I know that these products work because I use these products. Amen. And if you know me, um, most of the time, if you see me, I have some sort of energy. And I give it first and foremost, I give the credit um, to the glory of God. Amen. For the energy that he gives me. Amen. And on the practical side of things, I use, I use wisdom and understanding. You have to know your body. You have to know your capabilities. You have to know who you are. You have to know where you are in your health. Amen. So in your health and wellness, is always a good time to start today. Amen. While you look at the calendar, as the calendar is flying by, 65 days before spring of 2022, you can start something now. Change your health habits now, today. Amen. And during that time... As you go ahead, you'll start noticing a change in your life. So this product is an excellent source of selenium. We used to talk about that years ago. Nobody's talking about selenium no more, right? Vitamin A, vitamin C, uh, and B6. B6 was a big thing uh, a couple of years ago, and now er everything changed. B12, B6, the B vitamins, right? And for whatever reason, if it's not in your face, you stop thinking about it, and then you move on to something else. But I believe in what works. If it's something works, it works. God created things. He created all things that were good. The Bible says, Genesis chapter 1, Genesis chapter 2. Then the only time, the very first time that you hear God saying it is not good is when he created the first man, Adam. And he said, it's not good for this man, Adam, to be alone. It's not good for man to be alone. So he created for Adam a help me, a help mate. Either way, help me, help mate. And Eve was created from the man's rib. But if you notice, Genesis chapter 1, everything that God created was good. Genesis chapter 2, everything, the vegetation, the, the birds, everything, the animals, the sea, the fish, everything was created good. So therefore, if you were there at that time in that garden, eating those things that God had already created in its original form, amen, their health must have been off the charts. Uh, we were actually created to live forever. We weren't created to die. But because man disobeyed a holy God, that brought in what? Sin, sickness, and disease, and death. It brought it all in. Amen? But God is a God of grace. He allows us to use what he left on this planet for good still. Right? Whatever is on this planet, 
You could repurpose it, reform it, and put it into a vitamin, put it into a supplement, put them into a mixture. You know, the ancients of old, like you have the Indian people, right, um, that knew how to deal with herbs. The Asian people who know how to deal with herbs, they still know how to deal with herbs. They deal with natural things, and they have remedies that really work. But you won't see that publicized. You won't see that on the market because it would kind of mess with the uh, pharmaceutical companies and their money in their pockets. But natural things still work. Amen. I don't know if anybody tell you that the natural things stop working. That's not true. Amen. The natural things still work. So when I see uh, supplements and when I see products that use natural ingredients, I'm all about it. Amen. And of course, they can enhance some of the product with some other things. Um, but these products are not modified. No, no GMOs. So there's some evidence, right, even that suggests this. This is just a suggestion that consumption of selenium may reduce the risk of certain forms of cancer. That's such a suggestion. Um, you could read it for yourself, djsandrock.com forward slash immune. So you can see it for yourself. Um, and FDA has determined that the evidence is limited and not conclusive. So even the FDA is saying, um, yeah, there might be some truth to that. If you get the FDA to say something close to that, saying that it might be some truth to that, um, they're on the right track. Because if you notice, the FDA doesn't endorse everything. As a matter of fact, a lot of people put out stuff and it says right on the um, container that it's not FDA approved. I'm just saying. You have to see... Notice what's going on, amen, in, in this world right now in real time, amen. If you, if you keep your eyes open, you'll start noticing these things. They're subtle, but they're there, amen. They're subtle, but they're there, amen. One more minute. Um, and one, I'll give you one more, and then you can go to the site for yourself. I don't want to take up your, your time. Uh, Rose Guard, Rose Guard, another one, right? Rose Guard. And it supports the immune system with antioxidant vitamin C and vitamin E. Um, it's a general antioxidant support for, uh, against free radicals. Amen. And this is something that you take one in the morning, one in the afternoon, um, preferably when you eat. Very, very um, basic, formless, very general, very natural. So that's all I have for you today. Wellness Devo with your brother DJ Samra. I'm just trying to be a source of information so that way you could take this information, use this information. Look at the calendar. It's only 65 days before spring and you want to jumpstart your energy. You want to jumpstart your health. It's a health hack for you. Amen. And all of this for less than a hospital visit. For real. So God bless you all. I hope you get something out of here. If um, I was in 2 Samuel chapter 11, read the whole story so you can see where the root cause of all this that we're facing is really gen generally coming from. It's coming from our sinful nature, our disobedience, um, not being in a place where we're supposed to be at the time we're supposed to be there, not looking at our position, amen, that God has given us, not respecting the authority of God's word, amen, being at places where we shouldn't be when we know we shouldn't be there. So I hope that helps you out. Read the whole chapter, 2 Samuel verse chapter 11. <laughs> Read the whole thing so that way you know, um, you know that I'm not just talking out of turn. The Word of God is speaking on it. So I'm just repeating what the Word of God says. So I speak health to your body, strength to your bones. God bless you. God keep you. And remember always that God is good. Peace.